So interesting, the Verizon breach report, I don't know if you guys read the one from 2024, 25, I think it is. This is the first time in history, in my career of 30 years in cyberspace, that um, vulnerabilities in software are now the number one uh, breach vector uh, looking backwards over the last 12 months. It used to always be identity and identity theft and all that stuff. Either we've done a really good job or AI is doing a really good job at vulnerability attacks. But vulnerabilities have surpassed. I think it's somewhere like north of 32 percent of the 32 percent of the breaches came from vulnerabilities. And that's driving some of the changes in FedRAMP, right? If you have something that's internet facing, and if you have something that's uh, going to be, it's likely exploitable. Um, that the, there's been a big change, right? Um, uh, there's the new new Vader standard with 20x uh, that's come out. Um, typically, we had, you know, if we're thinking back on golden images, <laughs> that the expectation from uh, from DoD or from you know FedRAMP was like, hey, any critical vulnerability you need to close the next time you do your poem report. So uh, 30 days, and then 90 days for moderates, and then uh, uh, 180 days. You said one of the magic words for us, uh, excuses. That's actually what we call our deviation requests. Like in platform, we call it excuses. Um, and so you need to be able to manage those. And uh, some of them are really funny and they're, they're just like never gonna patch it, but that has to change. So now uh, for those, uh, if you're using a tool like Rapid Forward or something, you're able to see like, hey, is this likely exploitable? Um, is this internet facing? Um, and if it is, you probably have a half a day where you need to half a day window or less where you should where you absolutely need to patch that